lovelies, I hope you're all well. So I thought we would do a beginner series. So we're going to start right at the beginning. Uh, I was going to go into song then and then I thought I better not because YouTube will tell me off. Uh, but we need to start right at the very beginning and I thought that we'd kind of gone from there, we'd look at different things in design space, we'd do beginners projects and then we can kind of get into more advanced things but I just thought doing a kind of beginner series was really important. One of the questions that I get asked a lot and I, I do mean a lot is is the Cricut right for me? Mm, that's a really ambiguous question. Is the Cricut right for me? I don't know the answer to that because I don't know what you want to craft, I don't know how you craft, I don't know how tech savvy you are. Uh, so there's lots of elements that go into is the Cricut the right machine for me? And I always tell people the same thing, which is to go home and download Design Space because Design Space is the bit that you need to get your head around. If you can work in design space and you can understand design space and you're comfortable in design space then the machines pretty much roll along with that and for the most part they will do what you tell them to do. It is design space that you really need to master. It's a free program to use and it's definitely worth playing in design space before you go and purchase your Cricut machine. So the first thing you need to do is go onto your computer or your laptop or equally if you are working from an Android or an iOS device you can go into the App Store and you want to search for Cricut Design Space. So with the app you're just going to click on the app and you're then going to download it. I'm going to show you how you get it on your computer. So we've got Cricut Design Space here which is the American version and then we've also got the UK version as well. So I'm going to click on this one. You can see it brings us to the Cricut UK page. You see we've got our little UK flag there. So we're then going to go to Cricut Design Space. So it's then going to ask you to create a Cricut ID. So you want to put in your first name, your last name, your country. You then want to make your ID, so put your email in and then a password. I'm not going to show you those and then once you're happy you can go to create a Cricut ID. So the very first time you log into Design Space, this is what you'll see. The images may be different, the project may be different, but this is the screen that you will pretty much get. And you can see that there is a lot to look at. So you'll see we've got these little green boxes with A's in them. So these are for Cricut Access. So Cricut Access is a monthly subscription program and it gives you access to thousands upon thousands of images, fonts and projects that you can use. I always advise when you are starting out with using your Cricut, especially the first couple of months, it is worth getting access. It's definitely worth for the first few months subscribing to access. You can cancel at any time. This project, for example, does not have an access sign on it. So if we just click on it, it will tell us that we need to purchase for £1.99. A great thing about having the access subscription is that you actually get a discount on your purchases as well. Now I always say access is like renting, so it's like Netflix. So you are paying for a monthly service and you are then watching the programs you want to watch. But you do not own those programs. So once you stop that subscription, they no longer are available to you for free. So you then have to think about, do you then want to buy those images, those fonts, that film? Uh, so it's very much a rental versus a purchase situation. But I do think Access is fantastic in your first few months. I've been using Design Space for quite a few years now and I still have Access and I absolutely love it because they are constantly updating. 
But Design Space is a free to use uh, program, so you don't need to have the access. You don't need to buy any of their fonts or images or projects if you don't want to. You can create your own and you can upload as well. So if you go on to some font sites, you'll be able to upload fonts from there. If you go and you buy images from other parties, so for example, an SVG site, you can bring those images in. If you are a creator, so you create your own images in things like Illustrator or Photoshop, and you turn those into either JPEG, SVG or PNG, you can also upload those. So there are lots and lots of options. Another great thing that's happening with Design Space is at the moment it is an internet based program. So you have to be online to use it. They have said that by the end of the year, fingers crossed, everything goes well, there will be an offline version of Design Space, which I am super, super excited about. So we have Design Space, we're looking at it, but it's currently not actually uploaded. So it's not on our computer. We can access the program to scroll down and we can click on projects. But if we actually try to go any further than that, so we try to view other projects other than that are on the home screen, or we go to new project, you'll see the Design Space plugin comes up. So this is where we're actually going to install Design Space onto our computer. Now, even when it's installed, it is still a web-based program. But as I say, they are saying hopefully by the end of the year, there will be an offline version. So we're just going to go down to download. So it's going to download for us and we are going to wait for it to download. So we can then come down to the folder and it's going to ask us, do we want to make changes? So we're going to say yes. And then the installer is going to start. So we're going to go to next. And then next again. And then it's going to start installing. It's then going to tell us that it is finished. So we can go to finish. And we can then use design space. If we come out of Design Space, you'll then see you've got your Cricut Design Space uh, thumbnail there, and every time you want to use it, you'll just double click it and Design Space will come straight up. So Design Space has lots and lots of different elements. You've got templates, you've got projects, images, fonts, shapes. There are so many things that you can do in Design Space and it can be really overwhelming, which is why we're going to do it in a bite-sized series. But I just wanted to show you that if you are thinking about getting a Cricut, this is the really important bit. You need to go home, you need to download Design Space either onto your computer or your laptop, or you need to download the iOS or the Android app, and then you need to have a play.